When I first stumbled upon Atari Force, I assumed it was a Captain N style property, a random assortment of video game characters put together to work as a team. That's kind of what this is, but I don't believe any of these characters actually starred in their own video games. I think they just come from Atari themed worlds. It's hard to say really, because I'm not very knowledgeable about Atari games to begin with, and this comic book makes zero sense. It's full of crazy alien language and other make-believe words. I basically had to read articles online to piece together a crude storyline summary. Apparently Atari Force is a continuation of some little mini-comics that were packaged in games like Defender and Berserk. There were five of them in all, and I guess they took place in the distant future of 2005. The Earth was destroyed by war, so scientists were searching for other planets to propagate. That's when Atari Headquarters was built, a space station also known as the Advanced Technology and Research Institute. They weren't just searching for other planets, they were phasing through multiverses and other weird nonsense too. Like I said, the series is incredibly confusing. I was basically given this comic for free because no one wanted it, and at that price, I suppose it's worth owning.